his amazing life and legacy. And as you see behind me, there's a sign here that says, blame it on Harry, which was a phrase that we heard often in Harry's life. Many people blamed it on Harry, the gallery, the running, the art, the artist, everything. So much, much of it was good. And it goes to his sense of humor, which we all loved and appreciated. So what the idea was, we have this space for Blame It on Harry here. And if anyone at any time wants to come over to the microphone and share a story about something that Harry did for them, with them, to them. For <laughs> <Yeah>. them. <laughs> um, that stuck with them and you want to share it, the microphone is open. I'll just start by sharing a simple story. Um, when I was first starting to be a runner, because I used to hate running, and then I decided I would try it. Everyone hates running. And I was uh, 27 years old, and I had started running, and I still wasn't very good at it. And we went up to High Point Park, and which is up here, up the road, one of Harry's favorite running spots. And there's a part when you get to the top where it's like steps up and up and up and up. Ah, uh, trust me, I've been there. Yeah. And, and you just want to stop. That is you just want to stop or walk. And Harry just said to me, he said, he said, the main thing is don't stop. Just go slow. And you'll recover. And you'll keep going. And that's advice for running, but that's also been advice for my life that I've used, is don't stop. Go slower, but don't stop and keep going. And then you get to the top. And then the next time it's easier, and the next time it's easier. So thank you, Harry, for that. So.